it's Christy welcome back to my channel today I thought I would share with you my new Copic refill storage system um, as you probably know if you've been coloring with Copics for any length of time about a year and a half ago maybe two years ago has it been that long I'm not even sure um, Copic switched the style of their refill bottles to a slimmer rounder bottle it holds less ink um, but anyway, I needed a new storage system where they would both fit together, which was really difficult to find. Um, but I did just find something. So in case you were also looking for something where you can store your old refills and your new refills together, uh, I just wanted to share this with you. So this was a purchase that I made from a company on Etsy called Our Gray Barn, and I will put a link to it down in the description bar. And they make all kinds of Copic storage systems, um, both for the pens and also for the refills. They have some that fit in your Rascog carts. They have different styles. So if you're interested in anything like that, I would check them out. Like I said, I'll have a link below, but I wanted to share this, uh, this one that I got. So um, my uh, camera I, I have it stacked up even on on boxes and it's still a little bit close so but it is a storage bin there you can see the handles on either end and you just take down the sides and then lift off the lid and then you've got this um, I believe it's MDF board or something like that that they have created that um, just fits perfectly inside and it has the slots to hold the old style refills which are these and also slots to hold the new style so the one that i got had um, 90 spots for the old style which works perfectly because i had 87 of those bottles and then they have 150 spots for the new style bottles so I had uh, plenty of room for those and lots of room to grow because I don't have refills for all the Copics I own at this time I own um, I would say about 200 of the Copics um, nowhere near uh, the full amount I believe there's 388 total uh, I could be slightly off on there but I know it's in the 300s um, but anyway, I've been working on my collection for 10 years now, and um, they're just my absolute favorite coloring medium. So I'm really happy with them and, you know, eager to get even more of the refills as my markers start to run dry. So, so I just wanted to share that with you, and I thought I'd just talk quickly about how I arrange them as well. So I put them in the same exact order as my Copics appear on my uh, Crafters Companion Ultimate Pen Storage System, which I absolutely love. I can insert a photo of that here. Um, but I, I have my colors arranged starting with the RVs and then going into the R's and then the YR's and then the Y's and then the YG's and the G's the BGs, the Bs, the BVs, the Vs, the Es, and then all the grays. I have um, the warm and then the toner and then the cool. So I arranged my refills in the exact same order as they appear in my storage system because I wanted them to be really easy to reach for as I need to grab them. And how I did it was I just did like the, you can see the RVs up here, they go all the way until the end of the old style and then where the new style uh, picks up, I just picked up back at the beginning of the RVs. So I left plenty of room so I don't have to keep constantly arranging them um, to kind of add in extras, but uh, I just did it that way. I just thought it would be the easiest to um, reach for and grab. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, like I said, I was looking for a new storage system for probably the last year 
and not really finding much on the internet that was going to work to store both in one place. Um, there were different things where you could store these together and these together, but not all together. And I didn't want that. I wanted all of my refills in one place because, you know, when I'm refilling, I'm going to grab for what I have in that color, you know, not based on the style of the bottle that they're stored in. So I thought this was really ingenious. Um, like I said, they have all different kinds of systems and I believe they also do custom orders. So um, if you are interested in anything like this, I thought hopefully it would give you at least a jumping off point and uh, you can go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a really quick one today, but I am knee deep in the new Hello Bluebird release um, that will be on September 8th. So I am working behind the scenes uh, really in depth now since I joined the Hello Bluebird design team. So we're going to have a lot of projects coming to you in a very short time. But uh, I just needed to have a quick video for you guys for Monday. And since I just got this and was super thrilled with it, I thought I'd share it with you as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.